Hello again, everybody. It's your boy Disarray, back with another Arts of Other Evolved taming tutorial. After we were able to successfully tame the Ember Pegasus and the Ember Utyranus, we are back in the fiery biome known as Emberfall, in search of the mystical creature, the Grand Embertross. As always, everything I show you in this guide will be set to times one official rates, and our Grand Embertross we'll be taming today is a level 150. Much like the Ember Pegasus and the Ember Utyranus, the Grand Embertross also calls the Blazing Biome of Emberfall its home. Unlike taming the Crystal Basilisk previously, we will require far less structures to successfully trap the Phoenix-like creature. For this guide, I'd like you to bring an Ember Crystal Wyvern to tag along. If you don't have an Ember Crystal Wyvern at your disposal, we can actually replace the Wyvern with a whole bunch of flamethrowers. I will be going over that later on in the video. In previous videos where I'd asked you to bring a flyer along, we generally had much more options to pick from. But for this specific encounter, we will need you to bring the Ember Crystal Wyvern. We want to take extreme caution when engaging head to head with the Grand Embertross. Getting anywhere near this creature and you will be set alight, which will more so than not end in the death of your character. Despite this, we can most definitely still do the trapping phase on foot, given that your character has a decent amount of movement speed points put into it. Due to its ability to easily sizzle your survivor, what you're going to want to bring along with you is a few beds and any form of foundation. The stronger the foundation, the better. So I've gone along and grabbed a stone foundation for the job. What we're going to do is just place it over to the side, away from where we're going to place our trap, and then put the beds on it. Now for the trap itself. I'll be asking you to bring five stone dinosaur gateways along with two reinforced dinosaur gates. You could instead bring four gateways instead of five, making our trap smaller. But for this guide, we will be bringing five just to give us more wiggle room when it comes to trapping the Grand Embertross. We want to line up the five gateways behind one another, creating small gaps for us to run through once we've got the Grand Embertross inside the trap. We need an escape route. Structurally, this is all we're going to need for the trap. Let me quickly show you how to build it. As you may have noticed, I just put the gate at the back of the trap on, not the front one. We need an entrance to run us and the Grand Embertross inside of. Because of the Grand Embertross's speed, if you try to run out of the trap first and then place your gate in there, trapping it in there, it would have already escaped by the time you turn around. Instead, what we'll be doing is, as soon as you are able to get the Grand Embertross inside of the trap, we'll be staying inside and then placing the gates there, then using one of the escape routes that we created through those gaps, run out to our safety. Because there is a good chance that as the Grand Empatross is coming in, it's gonna hit you. It's good to know that we put a safety measure down and place those beds earlier. Now for the fun part, let me show you how to engage and lure the Grand Empatross into our trap. Now that we've successfully trapped our smoldering bird in its temporary prison, what we're going to need to do now is knock it out. All we're going to need for this is a simple crossbow and a small amount of tranquilizing arrows. For this demonstration, I've gone ahead and grabbed a Mastercraft crossbow with 227.5% weapon damage. This will definitely do the job. Let's begin the knockout process. And as simple as that, we were able to knock it out with only 5 tranquilizing arrows. It's a very simple knockout process. Now onto how we actually tame it. Generally with the Crystal Isles Dino mod, normally what we'll do is just knock it out and put a certain amount of prime crystals in. This tame is along those lines the same, but there's a twist to it. Let me explain it to you. To begin the taming process, we're going to need one single prime crystal for this, and also our Ember Crystal Wyvern that we spoke about earlier. What I've done here is I've placed our Ember Crystal Wyvern right in front of the Phoenix so that when we open the gates, we can get ready to start blowing fire on it. I'll show you this shortly. To begin the tame, what we're going to do is throw that one Prime Crystal into its inventory and wait for our Phoenix to eat it. What I'm going to tell you now goes against everything that we've learned about arc taming processes and taming effectiveness. Just trust me when I say this next step and go along with it. 
I've gone ahead and put the Prime Crystal into its inventory and it has consumed it. Now trust me, let the Taming Bar go all the way back down to zero. I know it may hurt to see this happening, but trust me, this will work. Now that the Taming Bar is back down to zero, it's effectively reset our Tame. Go over to your Ember Crystal Wyvern now. I would suggest that the Ember Crystal Wyvern you use for this has about 1,800 to 2,000 stamina for this. We're going to need to be spamming the Flame ability all over the Phoenix until it's tamed out. The reason we need this much stamina is if we end up running out during the taming process while we're blowing fire onto the Phoenix and we wait for a full bar of it to come back, it's going to ruin the tame. Now using the right click button, start blasting away at that Phoenix using your fire attack ability. And there we go. I know this is a little bit out of the ordinary, but as you have seen here, we were successfully able to tame out our Grand Ambitross using this method. As you can see here, our Grand Ambitross actually tamed out at level 225. Normally, when you're Kimble taming at 150, they end up at 224. This is a 100% perfect tame using this method. And there we have it. We were able to successfully tame out our brand new Grand Ambitross using what I believe to be the simplest, cheapest, and easiest method possible. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you can actually replace the Ember Crystal Wyvern if you don't have one with a whole bunch of flamethrowers. Using the flamethrower method though can be quite expensive compared to using the Ember Crystal Wyvern. You gotta take into consideration the crafting costs of them and also the repair costs plus ammunition. Regardless of this, it is still possible to tame the Grand Ember Tross this way, I just don't recommend it. All you have to do with the flamethrower method is complete all the steps in this video up until the part where you use the Ember Crystal Wyvern to blow fire onto it. Now I'll quickly go over the Grand Ember abilities with you. Using the left click button is a simple peck attack. It also adds a ticking dot to the enemy. Using some simple camera movement, we can move our reticle around our screen, aiming at a target and pressing right click to shoot a fireball at it. Pressing the C ability will allow you to use a claw attack. And whilst the regular sprint speed of the Ember Tross in the air seems rather slow, what you can actually do is hold down the control key and give it a massive speed boost. Lastly, the Grand Ambitross doesn't poop in the regular fashion like most other creatures. Periodically, it'll poop out silica pearls for you, and very rarely, you'll get some black pearls too. That's a pretty cool addition. And that's it for the tutorial. If you found this guide helpful, please show it some love and hit the like button down below. Also, hit me up in the comments and let me know how you went with your team. I'd love to hear how you guys went. If you're new and enjoy these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button as you'll be notified of when I upload again. I'll also be bringing out some actual in-game footage soon as well. I also stream on Twitch at Day of Disarray, where things tend to get a little crazier. A link for that will be in the description below. If you guys have any questions regarding this guide, or any suggestions on another tutorial you would like to see in the future, please hit me up in the comments below as I read and respond to everybody's messages. This has been your boy Disarray, signing out. Hey. Yeah. <sighs> testicles one two, testicles one two. This is your captain speaking. Go fuck your mum. Alright. <laughs> fuck yeah, your mum. She's a bitch. Much like the Ember Pegasus and the Ember U Tyrannus, the grand father fucks your fucking dick. Fuck. Fuck you. No, what is it? I keep fucking the line out, dude. Oh, I thought you were getting pissed off over here. Nah, 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 nah. Embertross, 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 I fucked it up again. Fuck it. Come on. Get in. Get your tits out. Get your dicks out. Why is there a Gallimimus running in my fucking video? you. Despite this, we can still definitely do the trapping on foot. So long as your character has a decent amount of movement speed skill. As if a Gallimimus just ran right past me. Man, fuck you!
What's up? Now for the trap itself. What I'm gonna need. What I'll ask you. Fucking Luke, come on. I'll ask you to bring with you. Two reinforced dinosaur. 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 But due to the f your mum, she's a bitch. You could make. F you, bro. F you so bad. Cut. We want to line up the gateways. Why? What's, what's the line, bitch? We want to line up the five gateways behind one another with. Fist. 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 If you trap the thing in, f you. If you try to run out of the trap once it. Because of the Grand Empress' speed. What the f is the line? Line, 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 line. You don't want to be doing this. Man, f you, that line is f. <laughs> what we're gonna need to do now is knock it out. Getting there. Getting there. Normally, you just knock out and put the. Per We're gonna be using this to actually blow fire all over it. That doesn't sound right. I just don't recommend it. For the flamethrower method, all you have to do is replace all the wyvern steps of blowing the fucking phoenix up its fucking dick hole and then fuck your mum with it. Now for a quick rundown of all fuck your mum's abilities in the bed, man. She's a fucking whore. <laughs> now I'll quickly go over all of its abilities with your mum. <laughs> fuck you looking at? Fisted. 